Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go through some refraction experiments involving the rectangular glass prism, semicircular glass block, and triangular glass prism. So let's get started. Now, the first one we'll look at is the rectangular glass block. And you'll notice we've got a rectangular block here with light coming along the normal of our block. So from doing the experiment, you should know that light entering a rectangular glass block at zero degrees, i.e. along the normal, will pass straight through. So you'll see the light going along the normal there, and then if I was to draw a normal at this end, you'll see the light going along there as well. Now notice that I've labelled all my parts of my ray diagram, so we've got air, glass, and we've got our instant ray and our normal there and there, refracted ray here in the block, and then the thing outside the block we call the emergent ray. Now just to show you an animation of this, this is the animation we looked at in the previous video, but I'll show you again so you'll see the wave fronts coming in, the light coming in, and it slows down and the wavelength decreases and then the speed and the wavelength increase as it leaves the block again. But you'll notice that the light isn't changing direction. Okay, if I put on an arrow there, you'll see that the light is passing straight through. So this is the specific case, which means we cannot define refraction as the change in direction because you'll see it's obviously not changing direction in this case. So we therefore cannot define refraction as the change in direction because this is still refraction going on, but it's not changing direction, it's changing speed. We should have also seen the following result from doing our refraction experiments, that light entering a rectangular glass block at angles greater than zero degrees, this time when our light is coming in at an angle, will change direction. So unlike before, where the light passed straight through the block, this time we'll see a clear change in direction, because it's entering the block at an angle. So over here again, we've got our parts labelled, so we've got the light coming in, the instant ray, we've got our normal, angle of instance, angle of refraction, and refracted ray in here, then got our emergent ray coming out the block, and another normal, which you don't usually need to draw, but it's there anyway. And I can also show you an animation of this one. So this time we'll let our light come in, and you'll see what happens to it. So the light's changing direction as it passes through the rectangular block, and then it's changing direction again when it leaves the block. So we can add our arrows on there, and you'll see what's happening to it. So we've got our light coming in at this side, then changing direction at this surface, and then it changes direction again at this surface. And you'll notice that it still changes speed inside, it's still decreasing in speed, and then it gains speed as it leaves the block. And the reason it's changing direction at this surface and this surface is because it's entering the block at an angle. Now looking at the semicircular glass block, if you were to do an experiment using a semicircular block rather than the rectangular block, then you see slightly different results. So it says here, light instant on the round edge of a semicircular glass block will pass straight through since it passes along the normal at 90 degrees to the curved surface, then change direction when it leaves the glass block. So there's my round edge there. Okay, we're seeing that light instant on this round edge will pass straight through since it's passing along the normal. So that's passing along the normal because anywhere along this rounded and curved edge is a normal. And the way of seeing that is if I look at this angle that the normal makes with the surface at that point, it's going to be roughly 90 degrees there. And I could put the normal anywhere along that line and it's going to make an angle of 90 degrees at that point because the surface is curved. So the light passes straight through at this point, and then we've said that it changes direction when it leaves the block. So when it hits this other surface here, it's going to change direction. So if the light passes along the rounded edge of a semicircular glass block, it's going to pass straight through and then change direction when it leaves. If we look at the opposite case now though, where we have light instant on the flat edge of a semicircular glass block, then this will change direction first and then pass straight through the block. Okay, so we have our instant ray coming in at an angle, it changes direction, and then again, because the normal can be at any point along this rounded curved surface, then that means the light will pass straight through there. And again, you'll see we've labelled all the parts. So if the light is instant on the flat edge to begin with, then it's going to change direction first and then pass straight through the block. Our last scenario to look at is the triangular glass prism. So it says here that light entering a triangular glass prism at an angle greater than zero degrees will change direction at the first surface, i.e. bend towards the normal, and then change direction again at the second surface, bending away from the normal. So let's see if we can make sense of that. So we've got our triangular block, we've got the light coming in, it changes direction at the first surface, and then it changes direction again at the second surface. Now we said for the first one that it bends towards the normal, that's because it's going from a less dense medium into a more dense medium, so it's bending towards the normal. So you see the light comes in and bends down the way towards this normal here, and then the light continues and it says that it bends away from the normal. So in this case, we've got light going from a more dense material to a less dense material, so that means the light bends away from the normal. 
So if it's bending away, it needs to come down again this way because if it came up this way, that would be bending towards the normal. So it's got to come down again. So what we've actually got is the light coming in, bending down and then bending down again. So for any of these blocks, you could be asked to sketch what happens to the light when it passes through them, but you could also be asked to label diagrams that are already given to you. That's all for now guys. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.